look at the isomers of alcohols, we have to also classify these as well as naming them. So just before I start, we're going to go through the quick naming. These are three of the four structural isomers of C4H9OH or butanol. So our first one here has got a largest carbon chain of one, two, three, four carbons. So it's called butanol. The OH group is on one of the terminal end carbons, so it's called 1-butanol. Because the carbon that the OH group is bound to is only bound to one other carbon, we classify this as a primary alcohol. This becomes important when we start looking at the reactions of alcohols, because primary alcohols sometimes have different reactions to what are called secondary and tertiary alcohols. The second of the isomers that I've drawn here has again got one, two, three, four carbons in a row, so it is a butanol, because it's got the OH group. And in this one though, the OH group is not bound to the terminal end carbon. It's on one of the two middle ones. So I could either count this as one, two, three, four, so it'd be three butanol, or one, two, three, four, two butanol. Well, of course, two is a lower number than three, so we're going to call this two butanol. Bute because of the four carbons, remember. Okay, so that's naming this one. Now, if we have a look at the carbon that's bound to the OH, it in turn has two carbon carbon bonds. Two carbon carbon bonds means we call it secondary. Again, this will become important when we look at some of the reactions of alcohols later on. If there's primary and secondary, yep, sure enough, we have a thing called tertiary. And you'll see I'm just using the wee degree symbol here to summarize this. So this one here has got one, two, three carbons in its largest chain. So it's actually a propanol. Now in this case, I do actually have to say where the OH group is as well because it's not on one of the two terminal carbons. So this one here is called 2-propanol for this bit here, but it's also got a methyl group coming off here. So we call it 2-methyl, two 2-propanol. Two the carbon that the OH group is bound to has itself 1, 2, 3 carbon-carbon bonds, so we call it tertiary. Again, this becomes important when we look at some of the chemical reactions that the primaries, secondaries, and tertiaries undergo. They're not always the same. Just for your information, there's also a methyl propanol where I move this OH group to one of the terminal ones, and it can be any of these three on the outside. And that's the last of our structural isomers. That would be called methyl or 2-methyl. Uh, one propanol, but I haven't drawn that one in this particular one because I wanted to focus on the idea of primary, secondary, and tertiary so that when we go on and learn about reactions, we know how to classify them. Again, just to summarize, you look for the carbon that is bound to the OH group, then you see how many carbon-carbon bonds it has to determine whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary.